our first MMA bout of the night. No shin pads. Just those small gloves. Round number one in this MMA bout, Furkan versus Daryl Tay. Daryl Tay, the 18 years young boy who's been fighting in Ultimate Beatdown for the past. How many years? He just ate a high kick. Daryl has always been a dominant fighter in Ultimate Beatdown, but now could he have met his real match? But Daryl immediately pounces up. He takes the back. He got the his toes oh in, but he's God. a bit too high. He's way too high. Wait, 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 is there a submission? What happened? No, he was grabbing the cage. Man. Oh, oh Furkan God, has to there from Furkan. Furkan has to be aware of not getting this to the ground. Yeah. Daryl is a beast on the ground, That's but right. uh, Daryl needs to be smart. A lot of his fight, he gets a bit too cocky that he can take all these punches and he's done it before in a previous ultimate beatdown he got too confident took two three punches that he shouldn't take and he got knocked out oh so he God. should not fall into the same trap that's right Daryl needs to straighten his head here to prevent the to prevent the guillotine but my goodness Furkan's got <laughs> Furkan's got clouds for muscles yeah. look at the size of those biceps Body kick by Furkan, oh kick God. by Daryl Tate. Two kicks that landed from Daryl. Daryl's got the double unders. Usually in mixed martial arts, the double unders are a really strong position, but my goodness, Furkan's just got muscle. That's right. This man is just built to, I don't know, smash. He's like the Paulo Costa of this country. Yeah, this guy's a powerhouse. Look at the way he's muscling down Daryl. That's right. Daryl's got good skills. But skills plus strength. Look at what Furkan oh. is doing. Furkan now on the top side control. Daryl trying to close his guard. Daryl scrambling up immediately. Oh, some Furkan now beginning punches the ground and now. Daryl standing up. Oh. Head kick from Daryl attempted there. And that's the bell for the first round. That's why some highlights. Dan, what's your opinion on the first round, Dan? Uh, why? I would say Furkan has the upper hand. He did a lot, and my goodness, he's just so strong. That's right. There was this weird moment over here that I don't understand why referees separated them. So, yeah. grabbing the fence. Ah, okay. I mean, I get it that if you grab the fence, you that could merit for a, for a reset of position. But depends on who grabbed the fence though. Because if Daryl grabbed the fence, then yeah, sure, you should take away that advantage position. But if Furkan was the one that grabbed the fence, it kind of made no sense. Because, you know, Furkan's the one that's... You know, it's not that Daryl's using his advantage further by grabbing the fence. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fight could have gotten more towards Daryl's way. But that's just a speculation, of course. Oh. Daryl on the front foot in the early right. in the second round. Daryl with several punches. Furkan with a combination himself. Daryl, a very composed fighter. Look at Furkan though. 
That's right. We're gonna keep oh. trying to get. Oh, there we go. Daryl now taking the. Oh, taking the beautiful back immediately. takedown. Oh, he's got a neck. He's got a neck. He's got the This choking. could be it. That's a choke. Oh, there's a tap. Only in the second round. Daryl got it done. He tapped Furkan out by a rear naked choke. Beautiful. Let's watch the highlights. I mean, this was early on in the first round. Wait, hold on. Where's the tap there? 